guys, I'm Harley from Future Fire, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to change somebody's hair colour. It is actually super easy to do, a lot easier than you'd think. There's tools. I always thought it'd be really pernickety, but it's not. This is going to take us about 100 seconds. I suppose when you're doing it for your first time or whatever, it'll probably take you a bit longer. But there's no reason this should be taking you any more than five minutes. So let's get on with it. Before we start, for some tips. Better quality pictures work easier. Darker pictures work harder. A lot of teachers say that the black hair is really hard to do. It's not. As long as the writing's lighting's right and that sort of such, it is still the same principle. Drop the middle pin in the colour. If you need to move the darkness pin on the bottom across a bit on the levels, do that. Drop the saturation to get the other colour out. Bang, that's it. We're on it. Um, any questions, feel free to message me. Let's go. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is open up your picture. Once that's open, you need to get this quick selection tool and select most of the air. It doesn't matter if you don't get it all or if you have sections that are too big, as long as you've got most of the air and try not to get the face or eyebrows or eyes. The next, you need to open up the refine edge tool. If you don't know the shortcuts for that, you can find it in the selection drop down menu. Go around all the edges, making sure to collect any stray airs and also make sure you go over any gaps in between air. Save a selection and in the bottom right corner open up a folder and then create a mask which should stay on top of the folder. Then we can open up as adjustments. So first of all we're going to need levels, then vibrance, then selective colour. All of these should automatically go inside the folder. The levels and the saturation will help keep control of the darkness of the hair and the selective colour will help change the colour. In selective colour make sure you use the naturals setting on the drop down menu once that's all done we need to make sure the mass in the right place we don't want any purple skin so use a black tool to get rid of a bit of color use the white tool to add a bit more if there's any stray hairs that it didn't quite catch i suggest using the brush that i'm using and only ever using less than 60 percent opacity as it won't blend in properly if it's too high. There you go, I hope you like that tutorial guys. Literally 140 seconds. I was going to make it a minute, but I had to talk really fast and it was a bit hard for you to follow, so I thought I'd, I'd take my time a little bit more. If you like this video, then please subscribe. If you already subscribed and you like this type of video, let me know some more. I'm going to probably try and do some more stuff like that. The gadget reviews are still coming. I know I keep saying they're coming. The gadget reviews are on the way. And I'm going to try and do some more how-to videos. I, I like doing the how-to videos. Not all Photoshop, probably some other stuff, some more gadgety life hack type things. But for now, this is what we got. Sorry about the vape reviews, guys. They are coming. It's just UPS. I'm massively taking the mic. And obviously it's Chinese New Year as well now, so things aren't coming. Um, but I am still doing the vape reviews. We're just taking a long minute to get back to it because of UPS. Boo! Cheers, guys. Peace.